Hello everyone, welcome in Cool IT Help and guys, today we will see how to install MongoDB on Mac OS X. It's very easy. So guys, you can see on my screen, all these steps are ready here on this notepad. So we will follow all these steps and we will successfully install MongoDB on Mac. Guys, let's get started. So we will start from the step one. This is the very first step. We have to download the DB server. This is the community edition, so we will download it first. And guys, you will get this link in the description. Just copy from the description and open your favorite browser here. So I'm opening Chrome browser here. Here we go. Okay, now Chrome browser is open and just paste that URL here in the address bar and hit enter and the mongodb official download page will appear here so guys you can see on the right hand side this is the enterprise server so leave that one if you download this you have to pay for that for the installation but i will select the community edition as i have told you is the very first step so this is free now here we have to select the os because we are working on the mac so we will select mac os x 64. once you select you will see this url and the downloading file is dot the gz extension and then you have to click here on this download button once you press you will see this uh, message thanks for downloading and your downloading will start shortly on the left hand side you can see the file file is started downloading and this is 113 mb in size it depends on your network speed actually i have already downloaded that's why i'm canceling it and guys once downloading is finished, just pick that file and put here in a separate folder on your Mac machine in any drive where you want. So this is the place where I have placed it. So I'm first deleting it to avoid the confusion. So this is the zip file. This is the .tgz file that we have downloaded. Okay, so you have to just double click to unzip it. This is our second step. We are extracting the content of this zip file. Now it is extracted and uh, one folder appear here. Okay, now we will look inside this folder. What we have, we have the one bin folder and there's some useful uh, executable stuff here. Okay, now we are good to go. Now I placed this uh, steps notepad here on the side. So you will see uh, in a good view and we will proceed with this step three guys it's an important step we have to create a root directory data and then is a subdirectory db so this will be used by the server to store the data in it so how you can create it it's simple just open the terminal and type this command and guys the same command is given in the description you can copy the command from that place so open the terminal So terminal is open now we have to type the simple command sudo mkdir because we are creating this command to provide the admin privilege for the read write okay that's why i'm using the command sudo mkdir this is the root directory going to be created data slash db and hit enter it will ask you the password because uh, it's it is going to be created by the administrator permission so it is done and the, the data directory is created now we can verify it Okay guys, so simply open the spotlight search and uh, here you can look for that. Forward slash type data and you will see the directory that we have created is appearing here and the subfolder db is also created successfully. Okay, I'm closing it this. Okay, now we'll come back here on the terminal. Now we will proceed with the step four. So guys, uh, in some cases, uh, if you have not a proper permission of read and write so at the time of starting the server it will show you the write error so we will execute this command sudo to uh, provide the proper read write permission so just uh, hit this command and the permission is granted now we can proceed with the step 5 okay so we are good to go till now we have created the data directory uh, for storing the db now on the step 5 we have to simply add the path of bin folder that means the whatever the important executable to set the path okay so to do that we will open the bash profile file 
and we will add the these two entries inside the batch profile it's easy follow these steps all this command is in description you can get it from there so inside the terminal you have to type open this symbol slash dot bash underscore profile and hit enter and you will see the bash profile is open so here we are in the bash profile you can see already a lots of path mentioned here so we will maintain these two entry here as well for mongodb we are setting the path so it will be easy for us to execute the command from any place just simply opening the terminal so guys this is the thing this is the very important thing this is the path of the mongodb directory okay this is the parent folder so i just copied the path like this so open the terminal just drag and drop this folder and you will get the path do the right click copy the path from this place and close this one and come back here in the batch profile and after the equal sign just paste this path make sure you have a giving the path of a parent folder okay after that just copy the second line from the description and paste like this way this is export path okay so we have maintained two entries here the two lines in the batch profile make sure you have done it correctly otherwise it will not work okay then we will save this file and close this one and we will close the terminal and we will restart the terminal for the verification okay so i am closing this terminal right now okay terminal is closed now we will launch the fresh terminal okay here we are so here we are inside the terminal now it's ready for the verification okay now we are on the step six so we have just simply type the mongo hyphen version to verify everything is set proper or not okay here we are hit enter and you will see the message mongodb shell version 4.2.3 git version something module is none build version something that means if you are uh, look, getting this result message that means the setup is perfect right now at step six okay now we are on a step seven so in this step seven we will start the server so guys uh, from the further step the first term uh, we will use two terminal to start this server in terminal one and then we will work on another terminal so here is the terminal one so this is i just clean everything now we will type the command sudo mongod okay this command will start your mongodb service hit enter it will ask you the password because you are running as an administrator once you hit enter you will get this message here that means your mongodb server is started okay we are good to go here your server is started in the terminal one now we will open a new terminal window okay to connect the database so the first one your server is running the second one to open the mongo shell okay now we can work on the mongo shell i will tell you uh, about shutting down later after the step nine so in the terminal two we will launch the mongo shell mongo shell is used to work with mongodb okay you can perform you can create something here so type the command mongo so you will be landed here with this cursor angle bracket and cursor that means the mongo shell is ready to accept the commands here it's easy it's simple and now i will show you it is working or not okay we are at step nine so we will type some some mongo sh shell command okay so we will see how can we can work here so simple command is show dbs this command will display how many dbs we have right now in mongodb server so we are we have three dbs admin config and local again i will switch to uh, first db that means i want to work on admin so i just switched on the db name so i had just typed the command use admin now the current working db is admin okay guys so this is the way you can install the mongodb on your mac and run it
now i will tell you the important thing how to shut down mongo shell properly so this is the simple way guys we have to first switch to the admin because we have started it as an admin then we have to call this method db dot shutdown server method calling hit enter and you will see this message that means your server is shut down properly okay we can verify it Okay, I'm just quitting this uh, window. So we just type a method call quit to exit from this Mongo shell. So we are out from the Mongo shell and now we can work another thing here. And now just open the server terminal. So the server is running here. You can see the message that shutting down with the code zero. Your server, your MongoDB server is shut down perfectly. Okay, it is closed now. And you can see the prompt is appearing it's nice it's working so guys this is the way you can uh, set up the mongodb server on your mac os x machine i hope you guys found this video useful please like this video and share with your friends as well and guys please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help